Premier Comrade Mielakov. Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. And their primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now, deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, Conrad, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. Then the American people are not noticing? <laughs> ah, right. Pull the other one. Even worse. This new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, must be. Destroyed! As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. There's only one way to deal with such men. Revolution! Uh-oh. That can't be good. Whoa. Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Fioran. I expect you to die. Mine's big. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some? I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy.
Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my Holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core.
I don't understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. These Jopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! <laughs> Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much Revelade as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orenchov. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. I should have known. The drugs, the alcohol, the loose chicks, the signs, they were all there. It's obvious those hippies were trying to lure me in, so I'd let my guard down. Nice try, hippies. But I'm not just any mindless hedonist. I'm the best! Don't worry, Pox. I've got this covered. I'll wipe out every one of those bastards for what they did to my guns, and you. Go down, Crypto. I doubt hippies had much to do with ambushing you and destroying the mothership. Oh, damn. On the other hand, their brains don't provide much usable DNA anyway. So knock yourself out, if you're so inclined. Jeez, Bob. What? Frankly, we need... You do not! The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop! I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. Then I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right, enough chit-chat. I'm off to find her little hippie friend, the freak.
little early to be that bait, ain't it? Police dispatch, is this an emergency? We got him. 10-4, all units stand down. Man, oh man, that was... Uh-oh! Running low on supplies. Better check with the freak at the park. <gasps> that freak at the park should be put away for good. Stuff if I visit him on the hill later on. He's kind of creepy, but I do love his fine Colombian. Oh, that's totally gross. Hey there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him, but I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz? What I hear it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater. Which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is cat's got the chicks eaten out of his hookah. So he's catnip to Las Gadas, eh, amigo? For sure! All the chicks really dig him the most! Up to them, Coyote Bongwater'd be running that commune like a king! Which he practically is anyway! Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bongwater? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. He doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a, in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your it. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bongwater. What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all-natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bonewater says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. 
Great. Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. Next week, we'll start one-on-one -on -one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands-on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run 10 hours. So eat a good breakfast. That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! Goddamn flashbacks. Guess again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Then join us. We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm. Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Kill me? Run along, comrade. My men can handle this. Pacifists. What a crumb. Parameter breach! Get Bongwater out of here! Hurry! Bongwater is being in danger! Get him out of here! Now!